Revelation the 13th chapter coming to life, where the intents and purposes of the so-called white man, Esau Edom, is to get people micro C help in order to continue in his system, in which this is going to be the mark of the beast being presented to the people. First and foremost, call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rahakwadash, double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and other bishops of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to the Lord's elect that's teaching in truth, sincerity, and diligence for the sake of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying and straight to the point. Yeah, it's a quick article from Modern Diplomacy. It says, Cash now extinct as citizens use implanted micro C hips instead, man. You seeing this same thing is coming to America where those blue face hundred dollar bills, you know, those twenties, those pink fifties as soon as going to become extinct and your new way of, you know, uh, doing transactions is going to be through you swiping your hand, man. Digital currency. You see, again, it says cash now is things as citizens use implanted micro C help instead. The central bank, which predicts cash may fade from Sweden. Is testing a digital currency in e corona to keep firm control of the money supply. Yeah, and the way this guy's gonna keep firm control of the money supply is only giving it to those who got that C help, man. You see, this nigga Rick Ross, he just showed a video, you know, of all the money that he got stored up in his house. But little do he know that money ain't gonna be worth shit. You see, you ain't gonna be able to do nothing with it, man. You know, because cash is gonna go extinct. And the only way your new form of payment, that was the spirit, your new form of payment is going to be through you having to receive a chip, man. You know, it says the financial authorities who once embraced the trend are asking banks to keep peddling notes and coins until the government can figure out what going cash free means for young and old consumers. It says the central bank, which predicts cash may fade from Sweden, is testing a digital currency. And e corona to keep to keep firm control of the money supply, you see? Yeah, and then Esau Edom is gonna do that by way of only distributing money out to those who got that C help, man. You know, he already spoke about giving people universal basic income, you know, and that universal basic income is gonna go to those who got the C help. It says lawmakers are exploring the fate of online payments and bank accounts of of so like a bank accounts, if an electric grid fails or servers are thwarted by power failures. And yeah, and this guy's uh warning you of cyber attacks and things like that, in which all these things is pretty much lean to the digital system. Yeah, it says hackers or even wars, write the financial post from Canada. Just skipping down, it says ask more people. So like it asks most people in Sweden how often they pay with cash. And the answer is almost never. If fifth of sweeties, it's like a fifth of sweeties in a country of 10 million people do not use automatic teller machines anymore. More than 4,000 sweeties have implanted micro C hips in their hands, allowing them to pay for rail travels and food or into keyless offices with a wave. Yeah, you see, having that thing put in their right hand, man. Yeah, it says uh, entering keyless offices with a wave restaurants buses parking lots and even pay toilets depends on a click rather than cash you see everything is going cash it's a cashless society which is everything going digital man you know and by everything going digital you're gonna have to be digital you're gonna have to have that thing in you in order for you to continue with the system man and you see it says a fifth of sweeties out of the 10 out of the 10 million Got that thing implanted in them. And that 4,000 is the one that's continuing with the system. While the rest of the 10 million is going to suddenly start finding difficulties, man. Because like I tell you, they not uh, they don't use automatic teller machines anymore. So the 10 million that pretty much, in which it's probably more than 4,000 that got it. But of that 10 million, the people who don't got it, it's probably harder for them to find ATMs or to even get cash back or to even spend money because everything is suddenly turning to them having to tap and pay, <laughs> you know? And that's the same thing that's taking place here in America in which it's going to gradually make its way here and your cash is going to be extinct. And the only way for you to continue is if you got that thing in you, you know? So this is Psalms 21 and verse 11. It says, 
for they intended evil against thee. They imagined a mischievous device which they're not able to perform. You see, because they're not going to be able to get the whole world chip, man. They're not going to be able to get this thing really going like they intended to. You see, but this is part of that mischievous device that they're, uh, they're imagining ultimately against the poor, man, to get you to receive that sea help so that you can continue in this American system. Because this is ultimately what all rules is going to lead to here in America. You have to receive a device in your right hand or on your forehead, you know, and people out here teaching, you know, uh, that this little device is not the, the, the MOTB. And a lot of you people is going to end up with that MOTB in you, man. You see, for, from lack of faith, you know. So going from now, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. It says, let Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, we're not ignorant to the, uh, the, the evil schemes, as it's saying in the NLT, that Esau Edom is going to take or use to get people to bend the knee and take that seat here. Because he's going to put you in a state of desperation, man. You know, he's going to put you in, 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 a, uh, in a position in life. Well, the sea hip is the only thing that makes sense. You know, if you don't believe in your how about Shimei was shot, man. And through uh, the tribulation that's going to be taking place in the earth, people is going to take it, man. Just to get out of, uh, out of, out of you know, hard times. Just to get out of the bondage they're going to be in. You see? So this is uh, 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. You go into that word perilous. It says, uh, through the idea of Strong's H5467, through the idea of reducing the strength. You see, and things here in this society is going to reduce to the point people is going to be in a state of desperation. And the solution Esau Edom is going to present to you is going to be that micro C hip, man. Yeah, it says hard to do, to take, to approach, hard to bear, troublesome, dangerous, harsh, fierce, and savage. Yeah, society is going to turn from being easy going to suddenly being hard to do, to take, to approach, also hard to bear, man. You know, because back in 2010, people weren't complaining about groceries. But you fast forward to 24, uh, 2024, you know, uh, four items cost $60, man. You know, people having to choose between paying bills or buying groceries. And that's this place reducing their strength and becoming hard to uh, hard to bear. You know, hard to approach. And the solution Esau Edom is going to give you to these things unfolding is for you to receive that sea help, man. You know, uh, so this is Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. It says, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, in which that small and great is not speaking of nations, but yet it's speaking of people. Because even when you go into the word small, it takes you back to uh, of rank or influence, man, because he's going to cause all to receive this, man. Uh, even LeBron James. You know, going to have that sea help because you have people with a small influence, which, you know, you got Instagram influencers, you know, TikTok influencers or even just neighborhood, you know, neighborhood activists, you know, neighborhood leaders and things like that. And even just little niggas in the neighborhood, period, that have a small influence. And then you have people that have more of a greater influence. You see, it says rich and poor, free and bun to receive a mark in their right hand. On their forehead, which is this little device, man. When cash go extinct. You see, it says, and that no man may buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Yeah, and just going back to the article where it says here, it says a fifth of sweeties in a country of 10 million people do not use automatic te automatic machines, automatic teller machines anymore. And that's just a fifth, you know, of the people in Sweden. So that means the rest of the 10 million people still have to. But soon, that 10 million people is going to have to transition to being a part of that, that fifth if they want to continue with the system. Because those automatic teller machines are going to suddenly go away because cash is going to uh, be extinct. And it says more than 4,000 Swedes, Swedes have implanted micro C hips in their hand, allowing them. To pay for uh, rail travels and food 
or enter keyless offices with a wave, restaurants, buses, parking lots, and even pay toilets depending depend on clicks rather than cash. So you see that 4,000, you know, they pretty much have access to certain things that that 10 million not going to have access to in a nick of time, man. You see, because with that implant, it allowed them to pay for uh, real travels and food. So they was able to get resources. They was able to go into restaurants, you know, able to use public transportation. You see, and these are the things that's going to be taken away from the people who don't have that mark, man. That's why it says, yeah, save he who had the mark. Yeah, because that, that person who got that mark going to be able to continue with the system. As far as the one who don't, he's going to be X out, man. You see? But yet, those who receive that mark, you're going to be destroyed in like you're going to get away. Like, yeah, the, the way that seemed like the best option. No, because those who get that mark, you won't be delivered, man. This is Revelation 14 and get to the point. Verse 9, and a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or his right hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented. You got to hit that. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, which is going to come by way of ICBM nuclear missiles. In the presence of the holy angel and in the presence of the lamb and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. Yeah. So if you take that sea hill, this is going to be your fate. You're going to burn up, man. You know, so what shall you do? Well, you should hope in the mercy of your how about Shem was shot. And hold fast to the word. Revelation 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which shall come upon the world. To try them that dwell upon the earth. You see. Behold I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. That no man take thy crown. You see. So holding fast to the word. You know is ultimately going to lead to your how by Shema was shy. Delivering us, you know, from that hour of temptation, or ultimately delivering us from the de uh, the destruction, man. You see, but this is the momentum that life is headed towards. Ultimately, right here in America, where cash is going to go extinct, and they're going to present the micro C here to you as a uh, a form of payments, you know, a form of you continuing this system. But yeah, I can my prayer to you is edify, giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. Lord wins in this video. Shalom.